Hey everyone, it's Gus from Pie My Life Up. Today I'm going to take you through five of the best pie cases currently on the market. First case I'm looking at is the Pie Borg Plus by C4 Labs. I remember opening this one and it had an amazing fresh wood smell to it. Not only is it of high quality, but it also looks amazing. Now, I did notice with this case, whilst it has a hole for the GPIO pins on the side, it has no holes for the ribbon cables, so you will need to bring them out the side as well. Now, that can be a bit of a pain if you need to access the pins a lot or ribbon cable slots a lot as well. Whilst this case is probably not the best if you plan on doing a lot of work with the hardware slots, it is a great case for a media center, web server, and the tons of other projects where you don't actually need access to these slots. It does, however, look great. So if you plan on having it in a place where the case will be seen a lot, then this case is perfect. It is a bit higher in terms of prices, averaging about 20 bucks for the case. That said, it is well worth the money in my opinion, as it is a very high quality case. The second case I have is the Zebra case, or also known as Black Ice. Now you probably recognize this case from some of my latest videos. This is probably my favorite case as it is nice and compact and has easy access to all the pins and ribbon cable slots. If you need to add a ribbon cable attachment, all you need to do is undo these four bolts, lift the top up, and then you got access. Now there is two slots on the back, so if you want to wall mount it, you can. Just be careful if you wall mount it, try not to mount it onto anything metal, like nails or screws as it might come in contact with the board and short the board. Overall, it is a solid all-rounder case that I have certainly enjoyed using in my last couple of guides and projects. You can buy this case for about $15 to $25. The third case I have is the Jet Black by JB Tech. It is a sleek black case that looks really nice and modern. It is dead simple to put together, just place your pie in, do the four screws up and you're good to go. Now this case doesn't have any holes for ribbon cables or even the GPIO pins, so if you need access to these, this case is not for you. However, if you're planning on a media center, gaming emulator, web server, then it is perfect. The fourth case I have here is the Eladrino Pie case and is the most compact of them all. This case is great for development as you have easier access to the GPIO pins. The ribbon cable slots are relatively easy to get to, but every time you need to access them, you will need to remove the top few layers. Now this case, I actually found didn't fit the B+, but managed to fit my Pi too. There is a small part on the B+, that stops one of the pieces going down. So you can cut the board yourself to get it to fit, but it seems like a lot of work. The case also came with a couple of heat sinks that you can place on the chipset, so that's pretty cool. I have also noticed you need to be careful when handling the case because it is easily to accidentally touch the GPIO pins. Another annoying thing about this case is that you can't use your finger to get the micro SD card out unless you have long fingernails, otherwise you're going to need to use a tool, like a screwdriver or something. Overall, this case was a bit disappointing, but I do like how compact it is. You can get this case for about $10 to $20, so it's pretty affordable. Last but not least is the Pibo case. This is the bulkiest case, but I've got to say it's still one of the best looking. This case was really easy to put together thanks to good instructions and the numbering of parts. It is kept together by four plastic screws with bolts on the end. Now, there is no access to the GPIO pins, so if you plan on using them, then this case is probably not the best for you, unless you don't mind altering the case slightly. It does, however, have holes if you want to bring smaller ribbon cables out of the case for the Pi camera, for example. As you can tell, this case is very appealing to the eye and is very high quality. I would suggest this case if you plan on doing anything where you want the pie to look good, maybe a media center or something. Now this case is in the higher end for prices, but well worth the money in my opinion. It averages for about $20. Overall I would say the Zebra Black Ice case is the best if you plan on doing a lot with the ribbon cable slots or GPIO pins. However, the Borg is the coolest looking in my opinion if you just want a nice looking case. If you're interested in one of these cases, then click here to get the best deal. 
If you want to stay up to date with all the latest Raspberry Pi guides, projects and much more, then please subscribe.